Welcome to part two of the tutorial and welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you for your continued support. I appreciate it. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to add animations to your avatars. It's very easy. So let's get started. Now, as you can see, we're here at Maximo.com, links of which you can find down in the description. We're going to be adding dance animations. So we're just going to go over to the left side of the screen here and type in dance. This will bring up a ton of dance animations that you can download for yourself to add to whatever avatar you'd like. If you don't have a Maximo account, just sign up and then sign in and you'll get to this page. Once you've downloaded a Maximo animation, you're pretty much set. Save it as a FBX and you're done here. You can close out Maximo.com. Once you have your animation, you then want to open up your Unity if you don't already have it open. You then want to drag the avatar with the animation on it into your assets area. Click on the avatar and then look in the right side of the hierarchy of the Unity screen. You will see a few options. You want to click on the rig tab and change this to humanoid. If you have multiple animations that you've downloaded, you want to just highlight all of your avatars and change them to humanoid. You can select the rig tab and change them all at the same time to a humanoid if you have multiple. Once you've changed the avatar to a humanoid, you no longer will need the avatar. You will just need the animation on the avatar. So what you want to do now is click the arrow in the front of your FBX. This will open up all the objects within your avatar. You want to find the animation that is within the avatar. Select it. Hold control and then press D. And this will duplicate the animation for you without the avatar. You can now delete the FBX. You now have an animation that is single and now you can use it on your avatar. But first, before you put it on your avatar, you'll need to set it up. To do this, just click on the animation and then if you look to the right side of the screen, you'll see a few options here that you may or may not need to change. But you will need to add a few things to the settings in order for your animation to work properly. Just below the top loop options, you'll see three more options below that. You want to make sure the first one is set to body orient, the second one is set to feet, and the bottom one is set to center of mass. Check the three boxes above each one and you're finished. Click anywhere onto the scene window and this will save your settings. You're finished with this part. Now the only thing you will need to do is add the animation to your avatar. To do this, if you're coming from the previous first part of the tutorial showing you how to add emotes, what you'll want to do is go over into your emotes folder. You're going to take your custom override and then you're going to highlight it. You're going to click on control D to duplicate it. You're going to drag it over here to the left and drag it up and then drag it out into the assets area. Drag it back into the animations window and then drag it into the dance animations. And now you have a secondary custom override for your dance animations. But if you're coming from a completely new perspective and you've just clicked on this video just to learn how to use animations in VR chat, what you'll need to do is get an entirely new custom override controller so that you can add your animation too. So what you want to do is go over to your VRC SDK folder, go into examples and then sample as, and then your animations folder. Once you're here in the animations folder, you then want to go to locate your custom override controller. Select your custom override controller. Click and hold control, then press D. This will duplicate it. Drag your newly created custom override over to the left, then up, and then out into the assets area. Then drag it into the animations folder, and then into dance. And now, you have a new custom override for you to use so that you can add your animations. Now, we're going to be adding our animations 
to our custom override. The only thing we'll have to do is select the custom override. We'll see a lot of slots that we can add animations to and emotes. If you want to learn how to add emotes to your avatar, you can click in the top right hand corner of the screen right now to learn how to add emotes. This will take you back to part one of this video showing you how to do that. But for animations, you're going to see emote one, emote two, emote three, emote four, emote five, etc., all the way to eight. So we want to drag this animation into either of those emotes. Whatever one you want to put it in, it doesn't matter. Just drag it into one. We're going to left click the emote once, then drag it into one of these animation emote slots. After that, we're pretty much finished. Also, if you'd like to add a name to your animation, now would be a good time to do so. To change the name of the animation, just click on the name either once or twice down at the bottom of the animation and change it to whatever you'd like. Now, we just need to add the custom override to our avatar. To do this, what we want to do is select our avatar. Once we select our avatar on the left side in the hierarchy of the screen, we want to go over to the right side of the screen and then add a component. We want to add a VRC descriptor. If one has not already been added, type in VR and then click on VRC descriptor. This will add a VRC descriptor. We now want to re-highlight our avatar on the left side of the screen. Go down to your assets window and select your custom override, but click it one time and hold the left click. Then we're going to drag our custom override into the custom standing animation for the VRC descriptor. And then we're finished. Now the only thing we'll have to do is upload the avatar. But first, if we want to see what our dance looks like on our avatar before uploading it into VR chat, we're just going to take our animation and drag it onto our avatar and then just let it go. Hit the play button and then you'll see the dance. Click in the scene window or you can use the game camera, whichever you prefer. Then you should be able to see the dance as you see here. Once you've tested and previewed that it works, you now just need to upload the avatar. Load up VRChat, go into your emotes, then select the animation that you chose to use in Unity. And now, as you can see, your avatar is dancing the night away. Well, anyways guys, that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope that it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, make sure to leave your comments down in the comment section below and I'll get to them when I can. Also, make sure to leave a like if you want to help out the channel and help me to bring you more tutorials and videos like these. Well anyways, until next time, this has been K7. Have fun glancing, prancing, and dancing with new cool and stylish dance moves in VR chat. Take care guys. See you next time.